So Helen, what's been the main challenges of curating this exhibition? That's a good question. Um, first of all, being given the opportunity to have the, the slot to, to curate something. Is, who, do you, who do you select first and then how do they fit together? And it was like a really interesting sort of 3D puzzle about how they could slot together and why you select one person's work, how it fits to another, what's the conversation between the two pieces. Um, I would say the biggest challenge is because it's a digital installation, so all the artists have very, very different requirements of how to set up the, the exhibition. So Mark's um, gallery from London had very, very clear guidelines on, on how it was to be shown. So although we haven't had to transport works of art here, having to kind of line the walls with that fabric and get carpet and get media players and, um, and learning how to, to work out all of those things um, has been really challenging. <laughs> You had a lot of support though from local sponsors and uh, companies. We have, um, Colburns were brilliant, they sent two guys down on Monday morning, fitted the TVs, um, sorted us out with speakers, um, we've had um, Typhoon House with enters the projectors, um, uh, Osborne's carpet has been really good and their guys just said as soon as you've got the wall built let us know we'll come down and fit the carpet. So, um, then we've had a brilliant team all week in here. Um, Ian Coles has been helping, the artists have been helping, um, Christian and, and Carol have been brilliant because we've worked like, solidly all week. They haven't stopped since the last show came down on Sunday. So it's It was been, a very tight turnaround, wasn't it? It was, and I think people will be... I just can't wait to see people's faces when they come through the door because the gallery has never looked like this. It's completely different. And the fact that you can't see all the way down to the end, and it's, it looks like... Um, I think somebody said earlier, it looks like the Baltic in Newcastle. You know, it looks, it, it's contemporary, it is a contemporary show, and that's what we wanted to try and do. Brilliant. So, um, Mark Wallinger, I mean, that's quite a coup, isn't it? To have a Turner Prize winner, and it's interesting, when the guys came to fit the carpet, they said, we've never been in the gallery before, and then we started talking to them about the piece of work that was going to be shown in there, and about the Turner Prize, and one of them had heard of the Turner Prize, so it's, it's that kind of, it's like a gold standard, it's, it's a ticket, it's something that people go, oh wow, they're showing that at the gallery, I'll go and have a look. And that's part of the idea of the exhibition, is that we're trying to encourage different people to come in and have a look. So Keith McIntyre's piece about um, Tower of Refuge, that's a bit of larking around that people can come in um, and interact with the piece, they can go outside and watch other people interacting with it. So hopefully it's a fun thing as well as a, a very serious comment about you know, um, refugees at the sea um, and what the Tower of Refuge was set up to do in, in the beginning to a centre, you know, a rescue place for sailors to go. Um, and um, so it, it's really fitted together really well how different artists have, have um, responded to their own landscapes and to islands when Shona's piece is, is stunning. And um, it's really great that you know, she had a, a big installation at Fact in Liverpool last year. Um, Mark Wallen just literally opening an exhibition next week at the Fruit Market and Dundee Contemporary Art Centre. So it's great that we've got his piece here at the same time as those shows are being on. Um, and there, that show is apparently tipped to be the best show in Scotland this year. Fantastic. So, uh, yeah, it's really, really exciting. So what do you hope the public will take away from this? Maybe it'll um, hopefully get them to look differently at the space that they live in, and like especially Mark Wallinger's piece. You know, we often drive past people who are putting up the scaffolding, um, and you know why is the scaffolding going up? What's being built? And maybe it might make people think differently about kind of structures and framing and, and how we see things. And what's, what's lovely about that piece, and the reason why we got that piece was the gallery's relationship to the um, to the prom here and to the beach and the activity in the you know in the, in out the sea and the traffic going up and down and so it's about life so hopefully people will just be intrigued to come and have a look. Fantastic, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> okay.